So we went ahead and bit the bullet and bought a new angle grinder here and for I don't know what it was, it was like 30 bucks, 40 bucks, something like that, 40 bucks. And Hitachi, it's a pretty good brand. And over at Lowe's there, we've been using that old Chicago Industries grinder and um, it's getting tired. And today I've got my assistant, Daniel. So we're gonna be grinding together. Now the first thing you're gonna wanna do when you buy a grinder like this is remove this safety guard. Nobody likes safety because it gets in your way of what you're actually trying to do. So, um, no, of course, leave the guard on. Um, I, you may find later that the guard in mind is not there, and for whatever reason, it probably fell off. But for safety reasons, you should probably leave it there. Okay, let me just go ahead and file this for uh, use at a later date. Storage. Storage. So there's the transom there. It's a wonder that that that, that uh, motor never fell off this boat. Look at that. How rotten that is. Holy smokes. Yeah. Keep going. Okay, so to update you on what's going on, um, we've ground down the stringers quite a bit here because there's some structural problems. There was some gapping here, and uh, we ground off all of the this there was piles of epoxy down here that someone had dumped there in hopes to sort of shore up the transom and uh, we're, we ground that off because we're gonna lay in new fiberglass there and then there was some big gapping between this because of the delamination of the stringer the stringers are solid there's nothing wrong with them it's just that where it was attached to the hull it the delamination was so bad that I couldn't fix it so I'm gonna cut it out grind it all back down take this foam and shape it down to where it needs to be and then uh, put in some uh, cabasil and some peanut butter mixed with some fiberglass and that night make a nice rounded edge and then lay in biaxial on top of it I did not know that this foam expanded the way it did um, I figured it would you know it would sort of <laughs> I don't know what the hell I was doing but now I know I have experience with it now I guess less is more so they say and um, the reason there was a big chunk taken out right there so we put in some foam in there and um, I, I need something to back up that when I go to lay on the new fiberglass over that hole the hole was kind of like that one but a lot bigger what I, I just needed something because it was hollow so I needed something to back it up to so we did that we're just focusing on the port side stringer right now because starboard here doesn't look any better really but I want to experiment with this foam and the, the fiberglass and by no means is this foam designed to keep me afloat all right that's not the point the point was to give me at least some backer for that for when I lay the fiberglass over it so this all get ground down and we'll uh, take a look at it once it's dry so my assistant Daniel has uh, was staying up real late last night with his girlfriend he was supposed to be working with me today but where's my sharpie marker drop penis on his face. We'll let him nap for a little bit. All right, so what we've uh, we've done now is we've mixed up some like peanut butter, the cabasil and epoxy resin together and 
I laid it over the, the areas that had gaps uh, over the foam, that the expanding foam, and then added some chop strand manning, 1.5 ounce chop strand. The whole point of that is, is really not for strength, but for a backer material. As you can see, like on this side here, there's, there's this thick gap between the outside uh, fiberglass and the inside of the transom. And this is fiberglass too. What I'm really trying to do is level this out because when I go ahead and carve out this transom with, for the C-cast application, I want something to back it up to. And uh, so what will happen after this is we'll mix up in, uh, some regular resin without Cabasil in it and then lay in some biaxial that'll go over this whole thing. We may need more here too, but the biaxial will give it some strength. We might cut some chunks there and then fill it all in so that we have something to tie the stringer into the transom. Um, it, it was separating like this one over here and this one we filled with foam. Um, the expanding foam and that gives us like a backer I'll do more foam over there but um, the, kind of the whole point here is to build everything up so that we have a nice cavity for the for the C cast and uh, we've got a little ways yet to go but this is a good start and we're you know tying in and creating nice uh, areas for um, smooth rounded areas so that we can lay in our our biaxial and regular epoxy resin for strength so we will continue on after this sets up all right so our expanding foam has uh, has dried I didn't realize how much it was going to expand so if you buy that great stuff a wide gap uh, can just understand it expands to four times its regular size uh, it seems pretty solid, so I've got a uh, hacksaw blade, just the standard blade, and what we're going to do is shave it off, shave the rest off, and then we should have a nice backer underneath so that we can lay up some some uh, support fiberglass. So let's go ahead and cut this off. And there we go. Pretty easy. Now what the hell am I gonna do with this thing? So uh, two weeks ago, Daniel got arrested and I bailed him out of jail. And so, guess what he's doing now for me? Sucks to be him. Yeah, so I'm just sitting here relaxing in my chair. Kick my shoes off here, my feet up. Ah, oh, yeah. Man, watching Daniel work, that's hard stuff. That is really hard to watch. <laughs> oh, boy. I mean, might just have to take a sip of my water. It's ice cold. Mm. Oh yeah, Daniel. Also, today, Daniel took like an eight hour nap. <laughs> I don't know what the heck, he's supposed to be working on the boat all day. He's out with his girlfriend last night, till four in the morning. And then he takes an eight hour nap today while I'm out doing fiberglass work. So, he'll be grinding till the sun's down. Maybe even past that, I got work lights.